Hello again everyone. Today I tested out my, it's probably the sixth version that I've tried of making a floating generator. Here's it in the Waimak River, a massive fast flowing river and a few smaller ones. Now this one here is my last attempt using computer fans that did nothing. So I've decided to cut the fan blade off and attach it to a little motor via a gear system to speed up the motor. It's just a little rubber band kit but it works quite well. And here I've applied 5 volts to it just to see what kind of speed I can get out of it. I didn't end up using all of these gears as it was too complicated and nothing lined up as I wanted it to. So what I've got here is a small motor driven off of a microwave fan and that runs through a I don't know, a reduction gear, maybe it's not. It makes it spin faster. And then on this side, I'm trying out a computer fan, two of them, on a slightly bigger motor here. And then I've got a third one here, and that was from a little hand crank generator, and so that one spins by here, and that'll probably be the biggest, uh, the most powerful one. But they're all added up in series, so about one, and a half volts each so hoping to get around four and a half volts out of it it's a bit of a walk out but it's a beautiful location not too far from town nice and secluded though you can even see the mountains in the distance today oh and there's a bit of quicksand so well not quicksand but watch out you'll sink into your ankles Here's a river, bloody fast. First time in, I'm expecting it to blow to pieces as soon as it hits the water. <laughs> I've divided this um, string system and it's got two separate electrical cables running down it so I can check the different voltages from each motor. And as a safety, I've looped the end of it around my arm and sometimes around my ankle and I don't have enough hands. I'm just connecting up my voltmeter. Hopefully we can get some decent readings out of it. Such a good flow. There should be a much better voltage than I've seen in previous rivers. So this machine is a real mashup of ideas. It's completely just for trials. I've got a microwave fan, two computer fans together, and the horizontal style rotating one. I found the center of gravity for how it floats wasn't very good, so I'm moving the bottles further back. Good old pump bottles. Come unscrewed. Oh, I see. I had a double nut on the end, and that nut's come off, so it's not even turning the motor at the moment. On to some other issues besides these randoms coming over. Um, every time it's on the string, it gets pushed over into the riverbank. So I've put these fins on each side here, and that should push it out further into the river. But it's not, it's just turning it and then pulling it back to the riverbank. So I don't know what to do about that. Now that that's fixed, my next idea is to find a big tree branch, tie it to that and hang it out over the river. 
Oh yeah, this should do. I've never wired up a tree branch before. It's pretty crazy the amount of force required to hold this in place. I'm surprised my little uh, plastic blades and everything is holding itself together in this stream of water. In order to get a real sense of how much power this thing can output, I've got a load tester that's made to test uh, the capacity of batteries and can tell you how many watts. I've hooked this up, but unfortunately, the voltage was fluctuating too much for it to operate correctly. This is it here. It tells you the wattage, the amps, everything. It's a great little device. This is me trying to read its display. Okay. Kept lighting up for a few seconds and I'd go and put the settings in, put in the three watt load and then it would turn off. So I'm gonna, I'm, I've ordered some bigger motors online, some generators. Hopefully they can put out more of a five volt supply. <laughs> Here's the damage. No wonder my readings weren't very good. The whole uh, motor's just fallen off the side. So that'll do it. And there's the blades, all pushed over. Uh, the rubber bands are still on there though, so that's good. And I assume the blades are connected. Yep. Plenty of power there. Well, time to pack up and move over to one of the smaller streams. A little bit of a walk, but it's still a lovely warm winter's day. Okay, it's going. Now, I think I can, this little bend, I can hop across and get my feet wet and have it stay in the middle of the stream. This is a more typical stream that you'll find when you're camping or whatever. Not often you have a bloody Wymac River to uh, dunk your generator in. 
So you didn't want to get your feet wet that much? No, not that much. Not for fun. I did it on the last camping trip. Yeah, did we? For the sunglasses. Oh, yeah. My main orange blades aren't spinning very smoothly at the moment. I think one of them has slipped back and they're almost turning in sync. Uh, so it's a bit jerky at the moment. The two propellers at the back are doing surprisingly well though. I think this is what I'm going to move on to next. Do some more experimenting with propellers that are in the water. Oh wow, it is using all three of them. Oh, even the one that's hanging off. I think that if I stop any one of these, the light doesn't go. Oh, geez, that's cold. <laughs> oh, I found the use for the legs. The actual as legs. <laughs> this is actually my favourite part of today's thing, I think. I figured I could make a square that just pushes into the riverbed. The water's just coming out of the ground here. You don't see that too often, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to make a little dam now, try and increase the flow a little bit. Make the depth a little bit deeper. And see if we can get a few more volts out of this thing. So we're here on the Waimak River. I'm just testing out my turbine. Oh no, and it's a going away! <laughs> What's going so well? <laughs> How good was that? Well, I'm just going to take my dog for a walk. <laughs> Look at this light when I pull it. Ooh. Oh no! I broke one of the fan blades off. I'm going to test to see uh, which type of fan blade is stronger just by real scientific test of squeezing it with my finger until it stops. 
I'm missing a blade though. Oh, I'm so fucked anyway. But the beers are coming off. <laughs> it's had a rough day, like my mask. And then I gotta take one of these off. Let's take these. Load it off the motor. Ah! Can you stop spinning? Thank you. <laughs> Could be. And here's the broken fan blade. Oops. That sucks. At least I bought a pack of four of them. This is where I think the microwave fan is better. It's kind of flexible, so it wouldn't um, just snap off. Yeah, the microwave fan's better, but with two of these together, this is better. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm definitely going to keep working on this. I've got some more generators coming in the mail. And I'll keep you posted with more videos. See ya.